I'm meteorologist Carl Bonac. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for Thursday, July 24th, when the official high was 73, the low a cool 46, put it all together over six degrees below the long-term average. That low of 46, not as cool as it got in some other locations, got down into the 30s. What is this, the third time uh, this July that it's been in the 30s in some spots? 38 at Kenton in southern Houghton County at Western Marquette County. Champion had 39, down to 35 at Stonington in Delta County. And one of our coldest locations at this time of the year appears to be Spinsich Lake, northwest of Newberry, a low of 33 degrees early this morning. We had northwest flow aloft, and that brought in a lot of haze, actually high-level smoke over the eastern half of Lake Superior and the eastern half of Upper Michigan during the day. But the flow is becoming more westerly. That will clear out that smoke and also start to uh, move this high-pressure area out that brought us the cool start and the pleasant Thursday. Low pressure out west in uh, southwest Canada. It looks like it'll dive into the Great Lakes eventually and by Sunday we're expecting a good chance of rain and then a surge of cooler air as northerly winds both aloft and at the surface surge into the area. Temperatures may even fall, especially in the northern UP Sunday afternoon. But on Friday we look for a south to southwest wind to increase. That means warmer. However, that'll be offset somewhat by, well, an increase in clouds. The main rain out to the west near this low in South Dakota, but there is a chance that a, a scattered shower could develop over roughly the western half of the UP, mainly Marquette, Iron Mountain to the west as the day wears on. Everyone will see an increase in clouds, though. And as far as temperatures go, Similar to today, though likely warmer near Lake Superior as those south to southwest winds kick in. And again, the coolest spots along Lake Michigan where places like Manistique will likely stay in the 60s. Then on Saturday, that initial low in South Dakota moves to the east. And while there may be showers, some thunderstorms, at least in the morning over the eastern UP, the rest of the day really doesn't look all that bad. We may be in between systems and while a widely scattered shower or thunderstorm could pop up, especially at inland points, it looks like a rather warm, humid, summery day. However, we do expect this uh, system up to the uh, northwest to dive in and that will lead to that much cooler Sunday. Your TV six day forecast, the cool, will uh, settle in and again rain chances during the day on Sunday, maybe just a steady rain. Then afterwards a very cool start to the new week with a chance of a few scattered showers at inland points and then slow recovery as we work through next week.